Welcome to Rehash. All the internet, we're all news, it is old news. We bring you the best and worst of what's happening today. I'm Sierra 2003 and you're watching Rehash. Thank you so much to Sean Rodriguez who provided our intro. If you'd like to be awesome like him, link in the description where you can provide an intro and get a meaningful spotlight at the end of any of your episodes. We got a couple of newsy type whatever, so we want to discuss with you, the Freedom Family, and of course amongst each other. And uh, so I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to dive right in to the first story, which is Netflix announcing a revolutionary parental leave policy in which a parent can um, actually have up to one year after the child is either born or adopted that they can take seemingly unlimited time off should they need to, which is awesome because if your child is born with, uh, with health problems user. or whatever, it, it allows you to handle that. Also, you know, whatever walk of life you're in, maybe you just need a little bit of time off. Right? Exactly. Time um, and that is awesome. Uh, hopefully we see a lot more of this. I was actually discussing with one of our partners, Dugelcraft, where in Sweden, the country in which he lives, um, they are allowed a certain number of days. I think it's like the equivalent of 12 months or one year between the time the child is born and the time that um, the, you know, the child is of age right. that they can take off. Which I guess covers like summer vacations or or sicknesses or whatever. Does it mean they actually get paid to leave and stuff as well? Mm -hmm. Hey, I'm gonna move to Sweden. It's the way I understand it. Maybe I'm wrong. If you're from Sweden, <laughs> or maybe Dubelcraft, if you want to yell at me for getting that wrong, let me know in the comment section down below. Uh, and then you got a news type, whatever. Yeah, so I wanted to talk to Freedom Valley and you about why office air conditioning is sexist. Oh, yeah, so not just one. Yeah, so feminism is quite popular right now. So apparently. Guys or males tend to be, you know, temperature were more hot than women. Now I'm not trying to say that in, in a sexist way. I feel like I'm setting myself up right now. But you know, our temperatures Aries. are hotter than it in women. And now in offices, men apparently control the AC. So women are in the offices freezing to death, and they're blaming the air conditioner for being sexist. Okay. Yeah. I only have one thing to say about this. Linked in the description, I seem to remember um, up from like 2012 or so, there was a thing by The Onion uh, done on this, which if those of you who do not remember from a week or so ago, we did a story on The Onion, which is a fake news outlet. But they did like a fake TED talk on this issue. Link in the description if you'd like to see that because my response is going to be very similar and probably not politically correct. Well, see, the only response I have to the office being sexist or the air conditioner being sexist is just remove the air conditioner. Everybody can just be hot and sweaty and everybody will just all... So but, but no, but then it'll be the opposite. Then men are controlling the air conditioner and the heat and they're uh, making women dress all scantily clad. Yeah, I, I don't know. So is there any winning here? There's no winning. There's no winning. Um, okay, so and then we got a couple of news top whatever's left. World of Warcraft is now down to 5.6 million users. Now this is actually uh, down from a relative high once um, Warlords of Draenor was released. Yeah. Um, and there was a sharp decline shortly thereafter. Um, and there are a few different theories as to why this is. But uh, just letting you know out there that if you're part of the World of Warcraft community, you know, go, go hug to somebody or they might leave. 5.6 million people, that's still a lot of people though. That's a lot of people, but I mean, that's that's down from a lot more people. Like, oh. um, link in the description to an article discussing this, and you can actually see there's a graph. And this graph depicts kind of the ups and downs of World of Warcraft, and you can definitely see that something is amiss somewhere, which is in stark contrast to what I would assume, because now you can buy game time with in-game gold. Yeah. I would think like, okay, subscriptions are up from like, you know, from people who, um, you know, maybe are more financially strapped, but you. And then uh, you had another news tab, whatever? Yeah, so what is the the Freedom Family about a robot buying drugs? A drug buying robot, yeah. So it's actually not a real life robot with a costume that goes up to drug deals and buys drugs. Oh, oh so this isn't like Tony Stark, yeah. like buying although, drugs. Although that would be super cool, don't get me wrong, I'd love to see it. Oh, so movies. it's cool to buy drugs now? No, 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 it's not cool to buy drugs. But if there was a robot that was almost real like human and you couldn't tell the difference, that would like go and do stuff for you, that's amazing. You don't think so? What other illegal things would you even have this robot do? Honestly, Anthony and the Freedom Family, you guys don't want to know. But, but anyway, back on okay. topic, it's a bot. It's not a real-life robot. So nonetheless, every single so, week... 
It's it's not like a physical robot with like meat more map. It's more yeah. like a software. That would, that would be really cool. But yeah, it's a piece of software. Essentially, what it would do is go on the dark web or the back end of the internet. The dark web. The dark web. And it would buy drugs every single week. It was deemed with a hundred dollars in bitcoins. It would buy drugs and it would be sent to a Swiss art gallery. A Swiss art gallery. Mm. Okay. It's a pretty weird story. If you guys want to read more, make sure to open the description down below. As per usual, do not rip it. You guys can read more about the robot. Interesting. Um, that's all of our stories for today. I guess we're uh, that means that we're out of stories. Yeah, for once. Let us know in the comment section down below what you think of this story about the drug buying robot, about uh, World of Warcraft, and or any of the other stories that we have here today. Any of the links in the description, if they do have comment sections, make sure to let them that hashtag rehash sent you. And it's about time for us to talk about that, uh, you know, the, the, the comments. Yeah, the comments. Yeah. I did the Linux system. The comments? Yeah. It does now. Yeah. It explains why you haven't been responding to them lately, too. Comment number one comes from Ruthless Entertainment, who says, The audio annoyed me a ton. It's really bad. That's from yesterday's video. Unfortunately, we are having some audio issues where the microphone got moved in its placement and its settings. And uh, we also had some background noise that when we cut it out, it caused some issues. Sorry about that, we're working on it. Um, and thank you to Ruthless Entertainment and the other 30 people <laughs> who pointed that out. All right, then you got a comment. Yeah, so comment number two comes from Watson. Yesterday, if you guys did not watch Rehash's episode, make sure to go check it out. We <laughs> upload like Monday through Friday, so what are you guys waiting for? Anyway, we covered Watson. He's a YouTube content creator who uploaded a video uh, and, and submitted it, and it got like, what, how many views is it at now? A lot. Yeah, too many. It's literally too many views. And he recently commented saying, Yes, boy, thanks, Freedom, for interviewing me. It's an honor. Yeah, he was actually our first interview here Ever. on the show. Would you guys like to see more interviews? Yeah, would you like to see more interviews when, uh, you know, cool and special and awesome things happen? Mm -hmm. uh, I'd be interested in doing that again. It's yeah. kind of fun. Um, and then comment number three. On yesterday's video, JK Highlight says, Well, I recently had 200k on my video just by sharing to Reddit. Reddit is a very good source of traffic if you're if you can uh, appease a community within Reddit. However, I would warn anyone and everyone that Reddit is a very different community in that if you don't observe the give and take of Reddit, if you're just spamming your videos there, they will eat your shit. They will eat you alive. Yeah. So be careful. Um, and then that pretty much wraps up the comment, I tell you. Yeah, that we did talk about. Now we can talk about the partner! Thank you so much to Sean Rodriguez for submitting today's rehash introduction. As per usual, let's talk about your channel. So Sean Rodriguez has 31 subscribers. He has good videos. I mean, if you watch his channel trailer when you visit his YouTube channel, the guy shows a lot of potential. He puts a lot of editing into his videos. I mean, for him to be as young as he is, he blows me away. Because when I, I started YouTube, I was like 16, and I didn't put nearly as much effort into my content. Now, I'll say this. Um, Sean, one of, your, one of your biggest problems that I've seen is simply marketing. Mostly centering around your art. Um, when Zach and I looked at your channel, we said, okay, well, you know, he says he does Minecraft. Let's look for a Minecraft video on his videos page. And we looked, and it looked like it had been about three months since you did one, until we took a closer look. We looked at some of your videos, and we did not recognize that these would be Minecraft, um, Minecraft videos by looking at the thumbnails. Um, also, in addition, your, your banner, your uh, profile image, None of it really does you a lot of good, it, or it doesn't do you justice, is the what I was looking to say. Um, I really feel that, you know, work, reworking this, and it's not going to take some artist with, you know, a billion years experience. Um, with your banner, redoing that, but using, you know, but googling, you know, images with transparency, replacing those so you don't have white everywhere, is going to do you a lot of good. Um, as well as, you know, just looking at your thumbnails and going, okay, well, I've got all of these squares everywhere, but most people aren't really going to see those squares. Look for bigger elements, look for a way to visually, you know, showcase this. Um, because right now, it, it, as much as I do enjoy your actual content, 
it kind of, your thumbnails, your art, it just looks like a jumbled mess. The only other thing that I can add on to Sean Rodriguez is, as a YouTube content creator, most people may be able to get away with personality attached to the channel, but when you're starting out very small, especially with 31 subscribers, as for me anyway, I wouldn't upload a huge variety of content. I would upload one to two games, whether it's Minecraft, Call of Duty, one relevant title to grow your fan base. If you can connect your personality to that title, maybe in the future if you want to, you know, go somewhere else and do vlogs or do in real life videos like you're doing right now. I mean, right now you're doing such a huge variety of content that frankly I have no idea what you're doing. You do baseball one day, card tricks the next, Minecraft, I mean... Uh, I can say maybe if you can find a way to tie them in to a common theme. Right now I don't feel a common theme. You know, and though you may feel that you yourself are the common theme, for a lot of people that's not enough. So for instance, you know, uh, card trick videos, um, maybe work on story-based card tricks that uh, tie into Minecraft. Um, you know, I, I've done, uh, personally, a lot of story-based uh, card tricks in my time. Um, maybe on your outside IRL videos, maybe you could try to, um, to work in some effects to tie them into Minecraft or to card tricks or, or something. Just try to find a common theme so that your audience doesn't get in the habit of skipping games. That's all of our advice for Sean Rodriguez. If you have any more, go ahead and let us know in the comment section down below, and uh, I'm sure that he will check that out. Uh, link in the description if you'd like a shout out slash advice like this. Uh, link in the description if you'd like to do that. And uh, yeah. till next time, don't forget to like, subscribe, punch your co host. <laughs> till next time, don't forget to like, subscribe, do all those things that make us love our jobs. Also, be awesome to yourself and amazing to each other. See you guys later. Bye, Freedom Family. And then you wanted to talk about? Yeah, my contact is not on my ball. It's up on the top of my eye. Is that really what you want to talk about? Yeah, it works so bad. We're having technical difficulties dealing with contacts. Between the time a child is... You're dying, aren't you? It's like... I don't mean to do this. My, my left eyelid is pressing against my eye every time I blink. It pushes my contact down and it won't see still.